As oil continues to gush from the blown out well on the seabed, workers keep drilling BP's two relief wells from drilling rigs above. Saturday, the company allowed cameras aboard one of the rigs, Development Driller 2, where workers began the emergency operation a month ago. So far, they've reached a depth of 10,000 feet, while workers on the other rig, Development Driller 3, have reached the depth of nearly 16,000 feet. Our main objective is to stop the leak. I mean, we, we're all working in the Gulf of Mexico, and this all depends on, our livelihood depends on stopping this leak. I've been working in the Gulf for 29 years, and I've never experienced anything such as this. Eventually, the two relief wells will intersect with the damaged well at about 18,000 feet. It's a very tragic incident that happened. Uh, I'm glad to be part of the operation to try to stop this well from flowing because it's not only affecting me, but my family, probably my kids later on down the line. Meanwhile, BP Chief Executive Tony Hayward was the target of fresh outrage among many Gulf residents. Two days after House lawmakers grilled him on Capitol Hill about the Gulf disaster, Hayward spent the day watching his 52-foot yacht Bob compete in a race off the coast of England. I wish I could go sit on my yacht. Uh, it, it's disturbing. It really is for the simple reason that there's a problem that needs to be fixed. A BP spokesman said the break is Hayward's first since the disaster began two months ago. It's not clear whether Hayward took part in the race or was merely a spectator. Sophia Manos, The Associated Press.